Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am C2 Random and I make advice and astrology videos. I am about to rap to you about dating a Libra. So if you are dating a Libra or you're just interested in, in this video, then stay tuned. The love sign, Libra is the sign of love. My son is a Libra and he is very, very lovey-dovey. He's only five, but he is just so love, love struck. They love being loved. They love romance. They love all of that mushy, gushy stuff. Valentine's Day is like everything to them. They love the idea of love. They love being in love. They love having sex. And not just any kind of sex, but like passionate, romantic, euphoric type of sex, love making. Women are very good at seduction and enchantment. Um, they're really, really good about that because it just, it's just something about them. It's something about that sedux that seductive, you know, um, euphoric type of vibe that they put out that is really stimulating and attractive to men. When they're in love with someone, they like to be the only one that that person is in love with. They don't do that side chick, she before me, he before we type of thing. They, they're not into that. Uh -huh. Libras and Leos are really, really good together for this instant because they both love that me, 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 it's about me kind of love thing. They like to settle down, you know, so if, you know, you're dating a, Li a Libra, um, chances are they are just ready to just settle down and tie the knot. They, they like that. They have that in mind when they're dating someone, when they are with someone. It's not gonna be just for play play. It's for real, real. They love things. They love really, really nice things. They pride themselves on that. Um, so if you're dating a Libra, they want to know that you can provide them, that you're financially stable and that you can provide them with the type of lifestyle that they want. Because nice things and having, you know, financial stability is very important to them because they like nice things. They love to live large. If you are really kind of struck on how to communicate with a Libra, they pretty much like anything, you know. They could get on the topic of politics or, you know, politics is a really good one. Um, justice, the law, reform system, you know, they're the balance sign, so they really, really love talking about stuff like that. You know, arts, clothing, fashion, so they're very well-rounded. But most importantly, they love themselves. They love talking about themselves. Anything that is going to die is going to divulge the topic away from them at first is gonna be kind of eh, they like flattery, so don't be afraid to you know throw in a couple of compliments and you know just talk and ask them more about them. Or you know, this is for anybody, this is for anybody, not just for people who are dating, but for people who are actually in long-term relationships. So this could be something that could help you, you know, you can learn and discover more about your Libra spouse, mate, date, husband, wife, what have you. Um, if you want to get into like a debate with a Libra, then you really kind of got to be prepared to take on that because they're going to challenge you. They're going to, um, you know, come back with a strong answer. You know, they're going to match that. So just be, that's just be mindful about that. They, they love the challenge. They do not mind a debate. They do not mind it, especially if it's something very controversial. Oh my goodness. You can really, really like have some of the best conversations, especially if this is your thing. Like, if you pride yourself on the challenge and debates and, you know, controversy and that's kind of your thing, then these are your people. These are the people that you really kind of want to get in them conversations with because they don't just have one firm um, opinion. You know, they're air signs, so they're very airy and flexible in their thinking. What Libras don't like and what they don't do really well with is um, arguments argumentation and 
confrontation and stuff like that, they don't really care too much for that. That will probably bring the worst out of them. So try to, you know, keep things very lighthearted. But, you know, I mean, arguing is inevitable. We can't just have relationships and communication with people and not think that there's going to be some type of conflict down the line. I mean, it's inevitable, it's gonna happen. But, you know, be mindful of just starting a relationship, starting an argument or starting something that could lead to that with them because it's, it's not good. <laughs> this is not gonna be a very good um, life after that. Libras have that type of mindset where they don't believe that first class is ever going second class. First needs to be first. Nice needs to be nice. They love luxury. They love nice things. Um, in the past, I've worked with a lot of Libras and I know this that a lot of them love to shop. I know this girl that I used to work with a while back and she went shopping every chance that she could get. I don't think I ever saw her wear the same clothes twice or the same shoes twice. She was a big time shopper, so that's also something that you need to be considerate of if you're really, if you are really interested and really thinking about going further with a Libra. Um, most of the time, they're gonna be good on their own because they want to, to live their best life. So they're not gonna be sitting down expecting somebody to just hand them everything. But at the same time, you're gonna have to have a conversation about finances. And um, I'm just a big believer in that, especially for my black people. You know, like we need to be putting our money in um, wealth building things. So that's something that I just have a soft spot for. Um, so you de definitely discuss that with your Libra mate. Um, if y'all gonna have a date night in, make sure your house is clean and nice and well kept. Make sure the food is on point. You don't want to be you don't want to be showing up with the McDonald's bag, honey. Like they like the nicest of the nicest of the nicest of the nicest things. Okay, <laughs> you need to go all out, and they really really do appreciate it. Libras also like people who tell the truth, who are very honest and open about who they are, because they're very you know, open and direct when it comes to the things that they need to say. So if you gotta say something, you need to say it, they will definitely respect you a lot more by saying something that they don't like opposed to not saying anything and just being a complete pushover and a doormat. And they, they you know, a people pleaser, they're not into all of that. Be real, just be honest, just be straight up 100 with them. Libras, like to believe, they have the philosophy of believing that it's just better to do too much too soon than to do not enough later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if these do not resonate with you, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please be sure to check out your rising signs, your moon signs. I don't know how many times I have gotten, uh, you know, comments and even in conversations where I'm talking to people and they're like, that is so not me, and I don't do that. You know, we're not just one sign, you guys. We have all the different signs in, in, in us. I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart. I'm an Aquarius, and I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart. I have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart. I'm a totally, I'm like a lot of different things. So if you're dating somebody and they're a Libra and you're expecting them to be every exact thing that you read online or that even I'm telling you, it might not always be the case that way because they could have a lot of cancer in their chart. They could be more emotional and you don't understand what's going on. So I definitely think that, you know, we you need to find yourself and research and really do take the time to figure out who the hell you are and not just this one side of your personality. So look that up. That also can play a role in it. And secondly, you know, maybe you have to change your mindset. You know, maybe they need to change their mindset. Maybe the relationship is just for a learning experience. You know, a lot of people are in relationships that they were only supposed to learn from and they're still in those relationships and they don't know why their relationship is not going the way they want it to go. They don't know why they're unhappy. So 
You know, at the end of the day, you are your own boss. You can write your own story. You are the author of your own book. You have to tell yourself things that you are going to be happy about and that you're going to be able to live by. So just remember that, you guys. I'm not just a regular girl that's just throwing out, you know, videos about how you can date this person and how you can do this and how you can do that. Like, I'm not a scripted person. I am a very deep, spiritual individual that believes you have the power to create the life that you want. And whether that's your finances, your job, or your relationship, you have the power to make or break the success of that relationship. So, you know, I'm just using me. I am just a vessel. I am just a guide. Y'all got to do it. Y'all got to do the work. Y'all got to do the research. So that's what I have to say about people who are just so like, oh, I don't do this. And they want to thumbs down your video because it's not like exactly who they are <laughs> to a T. You know, only you know that. I don't. So with that being said, please be sure to like, thumbs up the video, um, and subscribe, and really just take some time to do some research on yourself. So I will see you guys on the next video, and until then, peace.